like, okay, as in like, oh, I can be in here for the rest of my life. All right, look, look, look. I don't. I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to show a clip of him explaining uh, the circumstances, conditions, the situation in which he got shot eight times while he was inside a vehicle. All right, long story short, short story short, okay? He went to a birthday party. I think it was his birthday. This was in 2017. He went to a very uh, gourmet up, upscale restaurant with um, three of his friends. They were on live, right? And their location was in the background. So they're, they're hugging, they're having fun. In the back, the restaurant is in the background. So they leave the restaurant. And when they get to the stop, you know, when you leave like a shopping mall, a shopping center, you get to the light right before the, hi you know, the highway. You get to, like a, you know, you get the red light inside the shopping center to leave to get home. A car pulls up and over 121 bullets are shot into the car. He gets hit eight times. His brother, his blood brother gets killed. All three friends, if all the th all three friends get killed, then a, a little while later, he's in a hotel in another state, and there's a sa there's an assassination attempt on him. His friends, his, one of his buddies gets killed in the hotel. He was he would have got killed too, but he just didn't come out. And it was he was lucky, and he's beefing with a rapper called Julio Fulio. His name is Young and Ace, and basically these two are the the symbolic heads of the beef of the Jacksonville beef. And one thing that I got to give respect for DJ Vlad, I don't really like Vlad, but I seen him interviewing Young and Ace and interviewing Julio Fulio, and he really tried to get through to them. And he told them, look, man, I've had a lot of guys get murdered who I've interviewed. And basically, from what I'm seeing, you guys are going to get, you guys are going to die soon. And um, I'm going to try to pull that up real quick. Um, Yeah, man, it's just, I didn't even know that Jacksonville was this wild. I'm older, I'm 31, about to be 32, so at the same time, I'm not really up on what t people in their early 20s are doing. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not, I'm not up on what people in their 20s are doing, so, I mean, I, 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 I my, my, my girl, her grandfather lives in Jacksonville. I've been there before, and it's a beautiful city. I mean, they've got AEW wrestling there. They've got the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's a nice city, man. So I didn't know that they were that the city was up in flames like that. And um, your uh, your area, right? Yeah. You were actually with him when he recorded Beatbox. No, like I mean, no, the Who I Smoke song drops. Yeah. When you first heard that, what'd you think? Uh, uh, yeah, and then at one point when they speaking on my little brother's name, you know, so I was like, yeah, I see what it is. Yeah, I mean, there's a few rappers on the song, but Young and Ace is the, you know, beatbox remix. Uh, I'm trying to find the part with Vlad. And, uh, he tries uh, to talk to him like a father throughout the whole interview, I so I'm trying talk. to find it. Just talk, yeah, that was one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Whole project, yep. Okay. Is the money starting to come at this? Oh, you know the label. You got it's twenty three. Yeah. With a uh, he has a a picture of him on the shirt. Yeah. Okay. Why do that? He's asking him. All right. So his so young and Ace had a friend named twenty three who got killed with him inside that car that I was telling you about. And Vlad is action because he look. If you've seen how Chicago rappers diss each other, Jacksonville makes Chicago look like Disneyland. Um, it was just like, if you ain't with my hood, fuck you. Like, it was just like, like it was just a lot of like talking and like undercover shit. Like, a lot of shit go all out. Your girlfriend gets shot at one point? Yeah, my ex. Your ex? Yeah. Uh, this is a... Uh... Oh, yeah, his girlfriend got shot and his mother got shot. I'm done playing the clips because I should have organize this but my point is dj vlad talked to him like a father his mother got shot his girlfriend got shot young and ace his brother got killed and his two friends got killed in a car with him then a couple months later his friend got killed in a hotel with him they were trying to kill young and ace again and i would say that i mean the conflict young, julio fulio represents kta and young and ace represents um ATK, ATK versus KTA. That's the that's the war. And I would say on each side there has to be at least a hundred, but maybe a hundred deaths on each side. And if you actually go through it, you'll see that people's mothers have gotten shot, two year old, I mean babies have gotten killed. And man, it's just basically Jacksonville is worse than Iraq, you know. And um, 
I didn't know that, you know, and it kind of broke my heart when I seen these documentaries about how Julio Fulio and Young and Ace are basically, uh, they're young. They're only like 23 and 24, but they've got so many guys under them that are willing to die and kill for them. And I just, I didn't know that. I mean, I've heard the song, Who I Smoke by Young and Ace. Who I Smoke is a very disrespectful song that actually crossed over and became a pop song. He's saying, he's, he's talking bad about Julio Fulio's homeboys who have died. And it's, it's, I mean, it's, I don't know, man. Because when I hear these young guys speak, they sound so intelligent. They sound so smart. Um, they have self-awareness. They, they have common sense. But they use their intelligence and they use all of their mental faculties for street beef and murder. And they claim murders, just like they do in Chicago. And um, I don't know, man. It's like, when I watch stuff like this, it just makes me lose hope. You know, and it's like... These rappers are living like this, so you know the people who listen to them are gonna are gonna be influenced by them and want to live like that. And Julio Fulio, he's not actually out there shooting guns or anything. He's they're paying people to do the hits. And like Vlad said, man, it's, the people around you have nothing to live for. They're around you because you're paying them to commit murder. You're, you, you know, you're giving them clout. But at the end of the day, you're a million dollar rapper. You you're a millionaire. You've got things to actually lose. Your mother got shot. You've got things to lose. These guys who are around you that are killing for you, they don't have anything to lose. And eventually you're going to die. And, um, yeah, man, I would say that Jacksonville is the worst, is the most violent city, the most disrespectfully violent city in America. And um, I can't even sit here and lie and say things will get better because it's just, it's a hellhole.